Every day is a blank page. I knew that was gonna be cheesy, and it's cheesy, but it's true. Writing gets you alone with yourself and your thoughts. If I looked over the past year and said, what is the number one thing that has completely changed my life? That's also dramatic. So we have cheesy and dramatic. It's writing. It's having a daily journal. It's taking my thoughts that are in my head and putting them on paper. Okay, I'm done talking to you like you're an elementary school child. You're an adult. And the truth is, is that although school has ended, it's important that we continue to write every single day. And I'm about to tell you why. People tell me all the time that they don't like writing. I get it. It's like saying you don't like to read, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like running. I don't like eating healthier sometimes. I don't like avoiding the dessert bar, but it doesn't mean it's not good for me. Writing is so good for you. The number one thing that has helped me with my writing is writing with no agenda. My pastor told me, you need to sit down every day and write something, and it's for you. It's not for anybody else. Maybe later down the road, but right now it's for you. Write with no agenda. I'm gonna sit down, open my journal, and I'm gonna write. Why am I emphasizing that you should write on paper? It's because it's easier to focus when you're not on your computer or your phone. You're gonna have notifications and pop-ups all the time. I really wanna get alone with my thoughts. My writing time is my time where I'm completely alone. Start every day with an open journal. If you say, I don't have anything to say, I'm, I don't have any thoughts right now, but your journal's closed and your pen's all the way over here, of course you're not gonna say anything. Start a moment every day with an open journal. It's okay to sit and wait if you don't have a thought or you don't have something to write, just sit there, just wait. If four words come to your mind, write down those four words. At the end of the four words, you might have a whole sentence to write after that and then a whole paragraph, but you never get to the paragraph if you don't write the four words. Someone once said that ideas are like salmon going down a river. No matter how much you think you will, you will not remember that idea. That fish is going down the river, that idea, that vision for your company, that thing you wanna to say to your friend, you're not gonna remember it, so write it down. Here's what's so beautiful about writing for me. You do so much stuff for other people. You give of yourself, you give of your time. This is for you. This time where it's you and your journal, it's for your life to improve. It's for you to have better mental health. I wanna just set you free for a second because there's no pressure in your daily writing time because it's for you and no one's gonna read it. Now, obviously, some of these things may make their way on, onto Facebook or onto your blog or onto a book or something else that you're writing or working on or a video, but it, their conception, it's only you. So remove any of the pressure and just write. Here's what I do every day, try my best. I have a daily thought journal. It's also where I kind of do some vision. Then I try to write two crappy pages a day. Tim Ferriss said that in a writing video that I saw once. Just write down two crappy pages. And maybe in the middle somewhere, there's something really good, but you've just got to free yourself and let yourself write. The third thing I do is a to-do list. I put my to-do list right beside my desk and I keep my eye on it throughout the day. One thing I've realized is that my memory is so much better when you write things down. That's an amazing, you know, revolutionary thought there. You, you write things down, you remember them. I always used to complain, I'm so scatterbrained, I can never remember anything. Then I started writing down my thoughts, not so scatterbrained anymore. This one's actually a fun little test. Next time you're at a meeting or at a coffee with a friend, take some notes while they're talking. These people will start looking at you funny. Like you're gonna remember a few things from the conversation, but take notes while they're talking. They're gonna feel really important as you're listening to them. It makes them feel like you're listening on another level because you are, you're writing things down for yourself, but it just, writing engages you in a new way. If we wanna talk about manifestation and visions, people have vision boards. They say, this is where I wanna be in five years, goals. I'm all about writing all that stuff down, but there's nothing like looking back on something you accomplished. If you write down on that to-do list or you write down something that you wanna do in the next five years, the next year, and you're able to look back on that paper, you wrote it down before it happened. It's a beautiful feeling. There's nothing like it. I always say, Pretend you have to follow the map of what you write. Pretend that what you write down is the map you're following. You better be detailed and you better be thorough with your thoughts. I love to say, write your thoughts down like you have to teach them. Some people will say, read a book like you have to teach it. It just gives you another level of 
interest and another level of focus. If you say, when I write this down, I'm pretending like I have to go and teach it to somebody. What you're really doing is teaching yourself. You're really growing internally and you're growing in your wisdom and your level of knowledge. Your journal allows for focus in the present, but also memory for the future. It allows you to focus on this moment, but it allows you, like I said, down the road, you'll be able to look back and say, that was awesome. Once I get everything on paper, usually every few weeks, I'll go and copy it over to Evernote or another note-taking app. This actually allows you to think back over all your thoughts as you're copying them to a computer. And also that keeps them safer if something were to happen to your journals. You have them on your computer and you can share them pretty easily. One thing that helps me at the end of the day, if I'm feeling really tired or just my eyes are tired, I don't want to focus, I'll just turn on voice memos on my phone or you can buy a little recorder and I'll just record my thoughts. This helps if you're a communicator or if you're making videos or sharing ideas or vision with your team or company and leadership. At least you save that thought. Like I said, it's like a salmon. Might be gone if you don't write it down or record it. Time for a little Jordan encouragement here. You are more interesting than you think. I had to preach this to myself. We live our whole lives in our minds so we don't think we're interesting because we think about it all the time. But you've got to realize not everybody thinks about what you think about. Not everything that's in your mind is going to manifest itself into your life. So you want to write things down because you are more interesting than you think. And you have things in your life and thoughts that you have that would be really interesting to other people or they would encourage other people or they would help you get to where you want to go. And if you don't write them down, you may forget about them. You have something to contribute to the world. You have something to say, even if it's one person to encourage or one person to help lead them on the right path, you have something to contribute and you can contribute better when you write things down. I love it when a preacher is just preaching real good and he says, I'm preaching myself happy. I love that. So I'm gonna say, encourage yourself, girl. Encourage yourself today. If you don't feel it, write it down. I'm not one of these people that's like, if they're like, got a cold, like, I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. I don't believe in that craziness. If you're sick, go get some meds. But encourage yourself. Say the things that you wish somebody would have said to you or unsay the things that people shouldn't have said to you. Encourage yourself. So if you don't believe me, take the challenge. Take the challenge and say, for the next seven days, I'm going to write something. Just write down. You have paper somewhere. You have a pen somewhere. For the next seven days, write things down. Then make it 30 days. Then make it a couple of months. Make that your goal because it's so beautiful to put your thoughts out on paper and say, I thought that, or I said that, or I wrote that down three years ago that I wanted to be in a four bedroom house and now I'm in a four bedroom house. You know, there's so much power in what we speak and even more power in what we speak over ourselves. Just write, write every day. Maybe you write a little booklet and you give it to your kids. Maybe you have lessons on life. Maybe you become a better person and maybe it is just for you to sit back with a cup of coffee and enjoy later on in life. But I promise you, just like getting away from social media and getting away from all these things that we talk about on this channel, in your alone time, take some time to write down your thoughts. Encourage yourself. You have power. You have the ability to not just change the way you think, but change the way you behave, change your disciplines, change your actions, and your life will be on a better path when you start to write things down and believe that you have something to say. I want to share with you a few of the different types of journals that I have, and this might help you. I have a journal that has grids in it. That's where I like to write down points or what I would call my idea journal, some vision. This journal has lines in it, so I write longer form or multiple pages in this journal. And then I have my note cards. I love this to be able to just write down little ideas. If I want to create an outline or I'm working on a YouTube video, I just put my different ideas or sections on my note card and then I can kind of move them around and adjust the way that I want them to look. And lastly, of course, the legal pad. This is like Amazon basic, super cheap. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section below and I'll reply to each one of them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more videos on faith, creativity, and entrepreneurship.